it's all about moving forward and, and getting it right. And so that's what we've done. We turned the page. It's a new week, and uh, we're going to be ready to go. We're going to be ready to go. Yeah, you can't let one game beat you twice. You can't let two games beat you three times. You got to get a win. You got to stop the bleeding at some point. Momentum is a thing, I believe, in sports, and confidence is as well. And when you lack confidence, Braylon, it does beat you again. When you lack confidence, it's going to continue to beat you. But we got to get away from the cliche things. You know, that's not what we were doing early on with uh, with Dan Campbell in terms of him at his press conferences. He was giving you the transparency. He was giving you what he thought. He wasn't giving you the cliche ideas. Him now saying, hey, you got to turn the page. Hey, you got to move on. See, everybody in Detroit knows that already, Dan Campbell. Everybody has been moving on week to week for years and years and years. Everybody has been turning the page on coach after coach after coach, GM after GM after GM. You want to see some change on both sides of the ball you want to see a collective you say don't let a team don't let one loss beat you twice well it did because what the jet what uh what the philadelphia eagles did the seattle seahawks paid attention to it and they did the same thing and so you lost twice on the same game plan so you can't allow that to happen i'm glad that he's acknowledged that there are some issues on defense i'm glad that there's going to be some players change a little bit on defense and i'm also happy that he's going to put aiden hutchinson so i've heard in different positions. He won't just be lining up at left end, rushing the quarterback and trying to get it happen or make it happen on his own. You gotta move him around, you gotta try different things, pull him off the ball a little bit. You gotta help him create success for your team as he goes, so does that defense go. So, you know, I'm, I, I still wanna give him a chance. I still think they're a physical team. I still think they hit in practice uh, when, uh, during training camp. I still think Aaron Glenn could be the guy for the job. But we can't go out there and have another week against another team that's beatable and we're sitting here on Monday and we're watching a Dan Orlovsky breakdown of something Aaron Glenn did multiple times and has been doing since he's been here. Got to see some change this game, Ryan, I might say you. I will say this about looking at Dan Campbell from now to the beginning of the year. He, he remember how the president always ages? Yeah. <laughs> he, he is not looking as bright-eyed and bushy-tailed as he once has. And I, and I understand you know, when you go through pressure, anyone, uh, you wear your heart on your sleeve. Some people do it. Some people can hide it. Like me, I can't hide crap. I have the worst poker face that there is. It looks like Dan Campbell has a bad poker face uh, as well. Wearing on him. It's wearing on him. And I feel for him. And he's got a lot of things on his mind. Last year, he had his buddy, his offensive coordinator, uh, Anthony uh, Lynn. Lynn. Anthony Lynn. It's a good buddy. Got Talked him out of retirement. And he basically had to fire him during the year. Yeah, he kept him on, but he took his job title away. Took his job away. And now he's looking at his buddy Aaron Glenn. He, and we, you're going to hear Aaron Glenn in a couple minutes. It's, that's his guy. That's his man. He's the head coach of the defense. Without, and does he have to take the job away from him now? It's a lot of pressure that this guy, first-time head coach, is taking on. This ain't Bill Parcells, man, that's been through it. This is a guy that's coming up in the ranks, and it really is starting to show on him, and I hope it doesn't affect him going forward. He's had a lot of hard decisions to make, and they haven't been great. The decisions didn't work out so far, of course, against Minnesota, and then last week again. I just hope, it, I hope he can hold it together. I'm talking about Dan Campbell and keep that staff together. Another guy you're going to hear about is Ben Johnson. And when you see this guy, this guy eludes confidence. And it's a smart guy. Because he's he, winning. Yeah, you know what? He is playing. He's winning. He's he is playing winning, winning football. And people are looking at him saying, ooh, this is the, this is the next Sean McVay. Yeah. This is the next Kyle Shanahan. And uh, you can't let a guy like that out the door. I hope Dan Campbell does well. That's all I got to say.